I'd like to show you a few quick tips and tricks of things that you can do in Procreate to help you with your sketch notes. To start with, let's look a little bit at colors. Over in this top corner here is where my color palette is. I'm going to tap on it and I'm going to pick a yellow color. I want to show you a quick way that you can set your background to a solid color. If I tap and hold on the color dot in the corner and drag and drop it, it will fill your background with that color. Let me change my color now to black. And I'm in my tool sets. I'm using my round marker. I'm going to draw a couple of enclosed shapes make sure that they are connected. And now if I go into my color palette, I can go ahead and select a color and I can grab that dot of color and drop it into my shapes and it will fill the shapes with that color. Now, a quick way that you go back and select a color is a color picker tool. Simply by tapping and holding on your screen, this little color picker will come up. The color that is at the top will be the color that will change um, your selection tool to. So if you're looking for a fast way to change colors without having to go back over here all the time, that is an amazing tool. Now, one of the problems, though, with setting your color to a solid color for the background is if you go into your erase tool and start erasing, well, it's going to erase both the background and whatever you put over top of the background. So that's where your layers come in handy. I'm going to tap here on my layer tool, and I'm going to just delete this layer right here and just slide it over and hit clear. So let me show you how you can use layers so that you don't erase a background color. So I'm going to start here and I'm in layer one and I'm going to go pick my color, use the color dropper and drop it right onto the background. Now I'm going up here to my layers and I'm going to hit my plus and now I have layer two. Let me go into my tools and pick my round marker. And I am going to pick black. And now you can see, I can draw and write. And I'm gonna make a little house. And what's nice about that is if I need to erase, I can go to my eraser and it will erase that top layer, anything that's on that top layer, but it won't affect the color underneath. Another thing that is helpful about using the layers like this is now if I add a third layer, let me go hit the plus right here, and I'm going to move that layer in between the outlines and the background. Now I can do a color underneath. So I'm going to take a different tool, drawing tool. Let me go to this inking down here. And I'm going to pick a different color. And now when I start coloring, it is going to color underneath the black instead of over the top. Let me show you what would happen if I were on the layer where the black is located. It's going to color right over top of that layer. So being able to color in a middle layer is a helpful trick as well. I'm going to go back up to layer two here, show you one more trick, and that's shadows. I'm going to fill this circle with a color. But now let's say I want to make a shadow underneath it. I'm going to go back to my layer to um, my layer that's in between my black and my background. And I am going to go now to the sketching and go to bamboo chalk. 
and I'm going to pick black for my color. And then I want to make that very transparent. So I'm going to adjust that. Now if I go over here, I can add a shadow underneath my shape without it covering up the shape on top. And so being able to add shadows is another cool trick that you can do using layers. Another thing that Procreate will let you do is it will allow you to insert a picture. So if I go up to this little tool up here, this little wrench, and if I hit import image, it will let me choose where I get my pictures from. I'm going to go into my photos, and then I have lots of different pictures of different things. So I'm going to go into my camera roll, and let's see if I can find something interesting that I'm going to pull in. Um, here's another picture I did um, did um, another time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tap that, and it will import that picture into here. And I can take two fingers to resize it and move it around. Um, obviously, that's a, a picture that I saved to my camera roll. Let's go ahead and pull in a photo as well. Let me go ahead and see if I can find a good photo that we can pull in. Oh yeah, here we go. So here's a photo. And the same thing, I can just take my fingers and pinch and put it wherever I want on the canvas. One of my absolute favorite features in Procreate that really I've not found available in this way in any other app is the ability to use a lasso tool and then resize um, a portion of your sketch note. So sometimes you're writing and you go, oops, that's too big, I need it smaller. If I select this little lasso tool, this little ribbon tool, I can draw a lasso around the shape. And then if I tap on the little arrow tool, it turns it into a selection, which I can resize and move anywhere on my canvas, which is really helpful. To turn that off, I just tap on it and I will the selection will go away. So let me show you that again. So I'm gonna go hit that little ribbon and make a little lasso around, then tap the arrow, and then I can move it and I can resize it and put it wherever I want. And so that tool is really a valuable tool for you to use as a part of your sketch notes. One final trick that I love using Procreate for, which I really haven't found another app that does this as well, is to export my sketch note as a video that shows the entire process. In order to do that, I'm going to tap here on the little tool screen and it's going to allow you to share it, and it will allow you to share it as a video. Hit Export Video. And it will simply export it. Tap Save Video, and it will save it to your camera roll. Now let me go ahead and go into my camera roll, and I'm going to show you the little video. And there it is. You can watch everything that I've been doing. And that is a very simple way to export your sketch note and watch the entire process as a video. Hope you enjoy trying out these tricks in Procreate.